Sean Betts. He is a mortgage lender. He works out of not only North Carolina, but also South Carolina. And he also works out of Virginia. So if you're definitely here in the Middle East, as we call it, hey, tap in with my man, Sean Betts. He's going to be up here in just a second. And, you know, really kind of understand what it, what you need to get to the next level. Okay. So he's getting on there right now. But, you know, a lot of things that we're talking about today, we're going to be talking about mortgage rates. We're going to be talking about like refis. We're going to be talking about, you know, some other things that dealing with, with cars, with, with car shopping. You know, we got a lot of things that we're going to cover. So we'll go ahead and get him on here. Hey, hey, what's going on, my man? Yo, what's going on? Hey, man. And we live, we direct. You know, we giving it straight to the people, some good financial knowledge that they need to know, you know, especially to these first time home buyers. So go ahead and introduce yourself. You know, I was I was trying to, uh, you know, save a little bit of time, but let the people know, you know, where you're from, what you do and how you serve the people. What's going on, guys? My name is Sean Batts. Uh, I'm sure Jerry's already mentioned that. Um, I was born and raised here in Wilmington, North Carolina, Port City represent. Um, <laughs> Spent, spent my entire life here, essentially, except for a, a couple two-year hiatuses uh, in uh, a few different states. But uh, I'm back, you know, and I support the people from a multitude of different ways, from doing simple refinances to cash out refinances. Um, I specialize in first-time home buyers as well as veterans. Um, I do support my country when it comes to um, our veterans that basically donate their life and, um, you know, to have us have that freedom that we've got here in the beautiful USA. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, that's, that's a nice touch too, you know, cause our veterans, they need it, you know? Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about what's going on in your world, man. What do you, what are some things that you're seeing, you know, as far as like, you know, mortgage rates, what's holding people back right now from actually getting to the bag when it comes to home buying? So I would say the biggest thing that people are very, very reserved um, on when it comes to purchasing their first home is the interest rate. Mm. Um, interest rate is a big thing that a lot of people have some misconceptions when it comes to interest rates. You know, at the end of the day, they think the lowest interest rate is the best, which when it comes to your interest rate, that is a lot of money that you spend when you have a home purchase, you know, a 30 year mortgage, you're spending, you know, upwards of six, seven, eight percent on interest on, let's say, keep numbers round a $300,000 loan that equates to a lot of money that you spend in interest only, not including your principal. Um, so obviously having the lowest interest rate, that's the biggest factor for a lot a lot of people. That's the one thing that they always want to know. What's my interest rate? What's my interest rate? The thing is, when the interest rates were at an all time low in 2020, if you were sleeping, you missed the bus. <laughs> and you, know, you can't you can't rely on, well, my friend bought a house a couple years ago, and his interest rate was at 4%. I mean, I wish I bought a house in 2020 when interest rates were below 3%. You know, I've got some friends that have interest rates that are below 2%. The, the realistic Ooh. part is that's not going to happen anytime soon. And the one thing that I really don't want people to, I, I don't want people to miss out on the American dream of purchasing a home. Because let's be honest, if you're renting right now and your rent, we all know rent is steadily going up, especially if you live in Wilmington. If you live in New Hanover the County, it's too high. It's the rent too, is way high. too high. <laughs> but at the end of the day, would you rather continue spending $1,800 and $2,000 a month on rent for a two bedroom, two bath apartment or a three bedroom, two bath mm. rental mm. property? Or would you rather use that money as an investment? and invest that money into something that you own. Mm. Because if your interest rate is at 7.5% right now, which is right around where interest rates are on average. That is not your forever interest rate. 
if interest mm -hmm. rates go down to seven percent to six and a half percent six percent five and a half percent guess what you've got an option to refinance mm -hmm. you're not married to that payment and that's the one thing that i always want to be a big advocate for when it comes to all of my clients that i serve that's not your forever payment mm -hmm. so somebody put own it down in the comment section own it because what what, what sean just dropped is is so crucial he was saying Stop making it rain on your landlord, exactly. as my mentor would say, and and basically take some of that money and now put it in, put it into your own uh, home and own it. Because if you're worried about an interest rate, but you're over here spending all this other money, then what you really worried about, you know? Exactly. So you up here worried about a seven percent interest rate, but over here by by renting, you got you got a a zero percent interest rate but you also your equity is also zero you're, you're not you're not gaining anything and guess what the landlord is in control because if they decide hey i want more money i want to increase your rent i want to increase your rent to twenty five hundred dollars a month even though you're already paying two thousand dollars a month they want an extra five hundred dollars mm. out of your month mm. guess what you've got no say so in regards to that landlord increasing that rent. You can huff and puff and complain all that you want, but they own that house. They can do whatever they want with that house. I'm here to tell you, when you purchase your own property, me as a mortgage lender, I'm not gonna say, hey, by the way, I know we locked you in at 7% for your interest rate. I know your, your monthly mortgage is, is $1,800 a month, but, sorry we're gonna to have to up that up a little bit we're gonna to have to make it two thousand mm -hmm. we don't have the ability to do that but a landlord does so when you're renting you're you're at the mercy of your landlord if they choose to keep the rent the way it is and i know a lot of people out there that have their rent that hasn't gone up in four five six years but guess what mm -hmm. if that landlord you know, unfortunately, you know, passes away or, you know, decides to sell that property to someone else and that other person is greedier than that landlord you've had, guess what? That interest rate or that, that, that uh, rental agreement is going to be null and void. And your interest rate or your uh, wow. your rental is going to start going up. Wow, wow. that's that, that's mind blowing. I never really thought about that, you know. Um, so, yeah, that so one of the misconceptions is that don't buy right now because interest is too high so don't that's a misconception that you just proved that to be basically illogical because you're make you're, you're spending more money by by, by renting than that seven percent or but you're going to pay something there, yep. the mortgage is being paid by somebody somewhere unless that home is on free and clear you know the the landlord is paying a mortgage but you're paying them to pay the mortgage so you're still paying seven percent Exactly. <laughs> but you pay it to the landlord and you don't own it. Yep. <laughs> wow. 100. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. I did. I did. I never thought about that, man. Like, okay, well, give us another like misconception or something that you're seeing in your in your in your zone. Uh, another common misconception is the 20. percent mm. You know, and there's there's a lot of people out here that still have that mindset of they need 20 percent in order to purchase their first home. They need 20 percent for their down payment. Mm. That is a common misconception because at the end of the day, I've got so many different loan types to where I can get you qualified at 0% for your down payment. Zero. What's known as 0% right. down, a USDA loan is a government-backed loan, and it is 100% financed. No down, mm. down payment. Zero. Zero down payment. Now, there are there are specific criteria that you know you have to have in order to get a usda loan um the area of the home is a big part of it i'd probably say there's about 90 percent in brunswick county where you would be able to qualify for a usda home loan That's where great. if you're if you're okay because at the end of the day like wilmington traffic's crazy i was born and raised here i've seen it grow exponentially but one thing is for sure with the amount of people that we have coming here in droves traffic is going to continuously get bad because our infrastructure can't hold that amount of people that are coming here so rapidly
Yeah, so, speaking of tra traffic, man, let's let's drop some more people to this live. Go ahead and share this or at least comment. Throw some likes in there. Throw some hearts in there so Facebook knows, hey, this content is good. If, if you got some value already, go ahead and, and let, let Facebook know. But go ahead, Sean. We, you were talking about driving people coming down here in droves and, you know, I guess the market is going up. What's, what's going Absolutely. on? Absolutely. So, you know, when you look at, you know, Wilmington as a whole, if you live in Wilmington, not only is your property tax going to be higher, but you're also going to have to deal with that traffic that no one likes to deal with. Second, if you work in Wilmington, Leland is 10 minutes away. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about that traffic anymore. Guess what? Property taxes, a lot less. Mm -hmm. Homeowners insurance is a lot less in Brunswick County in comparison to New Hanover County. And mm -hmm. getting qualified for a USDA home loan, having 0% for your down payment, I mean, I don't know about you, but I like to save as much money as possible. So if I can get more bank for my buck living 10 minutes away, I'm all over that. So a lot of my clients, I will be an advocate for them with looking at homes in Brunswick County, looking at homes in Pender County, where you can get that USDA home loan and not have to worry about paying you know, three and a half, five, ten, twenty percent for your down payment. That's a no-brainer for me. So if people are waiting to get a house and get a piece of American dream because one, they're waiting on interest rates, and two, they think the down payment is gonna to have to be twenty percent, and you just proved it in like, hey, you don't gotta worry about neither one of those things. What what's one more thing that people are worried about that they shouldn't be worried about? Another thing that people are worried about would be the size of their house. Okay. Uh, you know, when you look back on getting your first home, you know, a lot of people, you know, you have your starter home. So you getting that starter home, it's going to be like your base home. When you get that home, it may not be your dream home. It may not be your forever home. It's your starter home. It's your, you've now become a homeowner. You may have some things that you need to fix up in this house. You may have a house that has the best potential ever because it's in the area that you want it to be in. It's the house that you love. This is your home. You own this home. You have the option of actually building onto this home. If you want to add more rooms, you can add more rooms. You can do all of these renovations. Now, these things do take money, but if you're waiting, and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to purchase. And what's going on, Alicia? Um, if you're waiting to purchase, why wait when you can purchase now? If you've got a 7.5% interest rate and interest rates continue on this trend that they've been doing since the beginning of this year, which is going up with no signs of them going back down, mm. by the the end of the year if interest rates at 10 percent, you've been waiting for interest rates to go back down guess what you've just waited yourself into a higher interest rate mm. <laughs> to the point where you don't have the ability to oh, purchase a house anymore oh, interest rates at 10 percent, you can't afford it and you, you're hitting them right now man calm down be easy okay you you hurting you hurting them right now they're probably feeling foolish right now for just listening to you know they 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 Uncle's brother's uh, nephew mechanic twice <laughs> removed. <laughs> twice twice removed. removed. Who's not in telling them the mortgage industry? Exactly. You know, but they had a friend that you know got a mortgage one time twenty years ago. Oh yeah. And, oh yeah. You know, that that friend told him that you needed to have twenty percent. Um, another misconception is perfect credit. You do not mm -hmm. have to have perfect credit in order mm -hmm. to purchase a. Home. Tell them about at, it. at the end of the day, you can purchase a home with as little as 580 for your credit score. Mm. Now, wow. now, ideally, we like to have you have anything over 620 for your credit score. And if you've got a credit okay. score of 620 plus, you're golden. Let's get We've got a few programs where in. you have to have a 640 credit score in order to qualify for um, certain loan types. But for so your standard 
640, yes. Yeah. So it's like the highest. 640, if you've got a 640 credit score, there's a lot of programs that we have where we can get you qualified for it. If you make money, you've got a 640 credit score, you've got no derogatory, you know, accounts or, you know, you're not delinquent or anything. You know, you, you even if you filed bankruptcy, don't let that deter you away from purchasing a home because Come on now. at the end of the day, you heard it here, folks. You heard it directly from a mortgage loan officer. Even if you have bankruptcy, get in the game. Start that conversation. Reach out to Sean. Reach out to somebody that you know that is in the game, mortgage loan, and just have that conversation. They got programs for you, okay? They got programs, but you'll never know unless you open your mouth. And now you know, hey, there, that's four misconceptions he gave you. That's extra love. Somebody definitely got to share this now. You know, he said the maximum credit score you will need is a 640, okay? So so there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to clean up, clean up your credit, get to a 640, and be able to go ahead and lock it in. I love it. Go ahead, ask me one question, Sean. Since I got you up here, just ask me one question, you know, about credit, and then we let you go, man. Because I know you got some clients that you got to talk to. You know, I know the credit. When it comes to credit, that's your you're the subject matter expert. You know, and Jerry, when it comes to your business, when it comes to credit, give me a misconception when it comes to credit. When mm -hmm. it comes to someone's credit profile. I mean, I think we I think we 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 covered a little bit of it. And that's the fact that your credit score is not final. You know, you might have, have a 500, like you said, but you want a better interest rate. So you might think, well, now I got to sit back and wait for some of these things to fall off. Listen, credit never fixes itself. I'll say it three, four thousand times. Credit never fixes. You don't just sit back and watch your score go up. You got to work on that thing. OK, now, just because seven years has passed since you had like a collection or a repossession or something like that, these credit bureaus are not your friend. They are not obligated to take off nothing unless you say, hey, that collection is over seven years old. Or in some states, it's three. Some states, it's four. It just depends on your state. It's a statute of limitations. Uh, so I would say another misconception is just thinking that things will automatically fall off your credit score or your credit report. That's huge. People don't understand that. So many times people come to me and they're like, you know, hey, I have this thing on there. It's been on there for nine years. I'm like, oh, that's the first thing to go. <laughs> let's, let's get that off. But but yeah, people thinking that their score is, uh, is, is stagnant and that's your final thing that's permanent, but it's not. And we can change that thing in those 30 days. I love it. I, I love think we have one question from the audience. Uh, Jamil says, do we have loans to qualify entrepreneurs? Oh, do your loans. I can't see it. Move, Sean, move, move this way real quick. Over here. Other way. Other way. Right there. Okay. Do you have loans to qualify entrepreneurs is what he said. We what do, you said. We do have loans to qualify entrepreneurs. Um, so as far as your entrepreneur, you're looking at being a 1099 employee. We do have loan types to cover 1099 employees, especially okay. if they're working um, and doing a 100% um, commission based job. We've got bank statement loans where we can qualify you using your bank statements and having those bank statements where we have 12 months of your bank statements. We will average those out from your monthly deposits from, mm. you know, if you are a business owner, you know, if you are an entrepreneur, if you are a, um, a contracted employee if you are a um, hundred percent commission employee we're using those bank statements to average out what your monthly income is going to be to allow you to qualify for getting a home loan so to answer your question yes we do all right all right just hit us up directly we're here for you you know sean is there uh again virginia north carolina south carolina he can help you get started on that process and you know i'm here as well what's that Soon to be Florida too. Come on now, man, take it over the Florida. East Coast. Let's get out of here, man. Let's go. Let's go. This is Money Talks. I hope you enjoyed this. Share this. Drop a comment and definitely follow Sean Bats for more information. Let's go later, y'all.